what is often look, overlooked is how we were able to mobilize a highly skilled workforce, which was just as important a resource as the coal fields which powered the Industrial Revolution. But in the 20th century, we stopped investing in transport. We stopped investing in skills. They were no longer handed down from, to, from generation to the next generation. Competitors began to overtake us, and we're living with a legacy of that underinvestment today, not just in our roads and railways, but in our workforce too. So when we're investing some 70 billion in transport in this parliament alone, and that 70 billion is from the public, is from the government, we need a generation, a new generation of engineers, designers, construction personnel, as well as a highly skilled people to operate the networks once they are opened.